Welcome to Shane Spit Different Face Podcast, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Where you at? I'm outside. I'm outside. Being honest, I don't know you and you don't know me, so I don't appreciate you even bumping up on me like Check out No Time to Play Fair Hood movie soundtrack streaming everywhere. Also follow Saying Spit Different Face on Instagram. Now, Spit Squad, DJ Academics took the off the records to talk about Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Now, in the police report, the police confirmed that uh, it was said that Kelsey and Megan were fighting in the back seat. The fight spilled onto the streets. Um, from there, the police found like a pendant that said KN, which probably stands for Kelsey. Um, found some other piece of like gold or something like that, and they found almost ten thousand uh, dollars. Tory Lanez basically had on like swim gear, which is that that corroborates with them leaving Kylie house. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff that was going on. Basically, they say um, Meg Thee Stallion got upset at Tory the way he was doing. This is all stuff I told y'all when it first came out, though, right? Um, the way he was interacting with Kylie. But what kind of changed it is he was in the middle of the pool. Megan Thee Stallion ran up on him and kissed him. Now, remember, Megan Thee Stallion told Gail King she had no sexual relations with that man. And she was kind of like Bill Cosby in a sense. She lied, but later on she's going to have to come out and say she did. And I'm sure she's going to cry and she's going to say, well, I told people that we had no sexual relation because black women already aren't believed. And once they found out that I had sex with him, they would believe anything. And they would say, why would a guy who was having sex with me shoot me? Like, that's how Megan Thee Stallion is, man. She, she plays the victim card. Now, I'm not saying she didn't get shot, but it's basically seeming like when every when when I reported and some other people reported first as well with me that um she had glass in her foot. That's true. I brought that to y'all last week. Um and maybe she did get shot, but the fight was initially between her and Kelsey. So um hey man, listen to this. Tory Lane's lit. He he making the best music of his life. Um, he he got Kelsey and Megan, and he trying to get up on um Kylie Jenner and quarantine radio was the biggest thing moving during this time. He got a big deal for it. I don't know if that deal they dropped him from that deal or that deal got misplaced or whatever it was, but he had a deal for it. Now, why would somebody with everything to lose? Do something to make them lose it. Check out No Time to Play Fair, official hood movie in the end screen. If your favorite Chicago rapper album or mixtape was turned into a movie, it'd be No Time to Play Fair. In the movie No Time to Play Fair, a great day can turn into a bad day, and a bad day can turn deadly. Spit Squad, drop below in the comments and let me know what you think. And it's free, so click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Peace.